What's up everyone? Fire Willie here back with you. Today we're going to be doing something a little special, a little different. We're going to be barbecuing. We're going to be barbecuing some pulled pork, but not just straight barbecuing. We're going to be smoking that in a charcoal grill with no smoker. All right, first things first, we got ourselves the char griller. This is a Walmart special, cost me about eh, 80 bucks, something like that. Open it up, you got yourself a nice big charcoal grill right there. I'm using standard uh, Kingsford briquettes. Nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary. So what we're gonna do is we gotta start off by doing the snake method. This is what's called. So you put one charcoal briquette there, put another one like so, so on and so forth, just right there next to each other. It might be hard to see because of the shadow, but you can see it there. They're kind of next to each other. And then what you're gonna do is put one on top of there like so, another one on the top of there like so, and you're gonna do this all the way down here, through there, and all the way back. All right, so this is what the snake method will end up looking like. As you can see, it looks like a snake. Kind of a thing going on here. Now I left some room up here in case later on, uh, few hours down the road here I actually need to continue kicking cooking it I have room for more otherwise I don't think I might need it but we'll see and I left a tiny little room over here this is where the uh, uh, the already burnt coals are gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I do that here in a second but first you're wondering how am I gonna smoke these if it's not a traditional smoker and I ain't got no wood well I got these little pellet things it's basically sawdust but it's uh, apple wood, so apple flavored. And I'm gonna put these every so often down the line. So when it starts cooking its way through, it's gonna start cooking through these little pellets, which is gonna give me uh, that apple wood kind of smoke going on. But what we have over here is this is where the charcoals are gonna get started. So I got the charcoal, co uh, charcoal cooker there Got me a little piece of fire starter there. I'm just gonna set that in there. Set that thing on fire. Usually takes a second or two. Once that gets going. Like so. There we go, we got a little bit going there. Put a couple of those on top. There we go, it's cooking in there. And I'll set this down in here. We'll give it about uh, 10 minutes or so to see uh, until this stuff here is nice and grayish white. And then we'll be able to put our, uh, throw this down there and be able to start, uh, start our grilling. All right, so what we have here is a nice pork shoulder butt roast. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little mustard on it first. Just right there on that top there. We're going to rub it in. Get inside all those little crevices it's got hidden here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our little special sauce, seasoning, it's my special ingredients, can't tell anybody what it is. We're just going to generously cover the whole thing with it. All right, we're back out here at the grill now. You can see we got us those nice, some nice white coals there. What I'm going to do with that, if this thing would cooperate with me, there we go. We're just going to move it out of the way a bit here, perfect, at least the handle. I'm going to take my tongs, I'm just going to start laying, setting them down here. So if they get the edge of this, this nice little, nice little snake here. We want to get it to where this starts that going and eventually it'll just slowly cook its way through all of this. And I'm going to put uh, 
gosh, I can't remember the name of it, um, some water in here. And that's going to also help us with our cooking process. So here is the product that we are about to shove on this grill. Hopefully everything works works correctly. Like I say, I'm not a professional. I'm very I'm very novice when it comes to um, uh, to grilling. Definitely smoking. That's for sure. All right. So the grates are on. I went ahead and threw the roast on there. As you can see, we got some, uh, we got the nice little uh, coals down there going. We got the pans of water, two little pans of water going on. I've got it open here about halfway. And the top part open about halfway as well. So what I'm aiming for is I want to try to keep it between uh, 200 and 300-ish. And I want to wait until I have about 160 degree internal temperature. It's going to be a few hours. All right, it's been about four and a half hours. We're at 163 degree inside uh, inside temperature there. So that's that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Let me get my fingers out of the way of the camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this over to the aluminum foil and uh, do the next process. All right, so I moved it over here to the aluminum foil, which we're gonna wrap up here in just a second to try to keep, hold in a little bit more heat because I'd like to get it around uh, 190, 190 for a overall internal temperature. We'll see if we can get that. I don't know if we can, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some, this is uh, one part water, one part apple cider vinegar. And I did a tiny little bit of, uh, a lot of people use apple juice, some people use lemon juice. I went with uh, some watermelon juice and we'll see what that just kind of does. We're just going to kind of spray it down a little bit here. Generously. Perfect. We're gonna wrap, start wrapping it up. I'm gonna do a couple layers of the wrap here, so. Okay, so I went ahead and wrapped it all up in the aluminum foil. As you can see in here, the snake was going around this way, but I switched it over to here to start. So I just picked up the, uh, the burnt coals and put them over here. So it's gonna start the charcoal over here now. And I still got one more tablet of that apple stuff in there. And so hopefully start going this way, which will allow me to get more heat going on here. I was, I was down to about 200 degrees, and I want it to about 250 to 300. So now that we have that going on, I added a couple more charcoals over charcoal pits over there as well. Try to see if I can get more radiation radiating heat in there. I want to get it to an internal temperature of 195. So. Throw this back on, close this down, and we'll wait it out. All right, while we were waiting for the pork to cook, we went ahead and made some nice apple crisp. So that'll go really good for dessert. But after we get done eating this, this took about six hours total for it to get done, but it's finally finished. It's at a point to where I like it. So we'll put the claws in. We'll put it over here into the nice bowl, just like so. I'm gonna put a couple different types of barbecue sauce in here, and we're gonna start pulling it apart. And there you have the finished product. A nice pulled pork sandwich. Doesn't that look delicious? Mmm amazing you wouldn't like it all right everybody that's how you make a pulled pork pulled pork sandwich takes seven and a half hours but we did it uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because that's apparently a new thing that you need to do now that wasn't part of my old videos so make sure you do that because there's a pretty good chance you haven't done it yet if you're one of my subscribers <laughs> Um, yeah, until next time, everybody, I am Fire Willie, of course. I'm going to go eat some more delicious pulled pork sandwich and some good apple crisp.
And until next time, everybody, I will...